Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 strongest characters in the Mortal Kombat universe. Now before I kick off this video, I'd like to remind you guys that we currently have a partnership with Loot Crate, which is really kind of a gift you purchase for yourself, except the massive twist to it is, is that you don't really know what's going to be in each box. Each Loot Crate contains geeky goodies, so you're guaranteed to get something cool or unique, and each month has a different theme. This month is magic, so it ties into Doctor Strange and the Fantastic Beast film that's coming out. Also use a discount code HBTWARRIOR as you'll get a 10% discount off your first purchase. Now on that note, let's get on to the video. Now we're going to set some rules for this list. The people who are put on this list will be judged by their base form. So anyone who's essentially kind of infused with someone else's power will only be judged without said other person's power. For example, Sindel. I'd be marking how powerful she is before she was infused with Shang Tsung's power. Another rule is that has to be a singular being, so it wouldn't be the Elder Gods. However, we will feature gods on this list. Now obviously characters do change over time and some characters are resurrected. Now despite this we will only be going back to when they were at their strongest. Now this is my own personal list so you guys don't have to necessarily agree with everything that I put on here and if that is the case please put down in the comments below your own personal list. Now on that note let's begin. Now at number 5 we have Raiden, the god of thunder and Earthrealm's protector. Now of the rank of god it's very understandable why he's here on the list. Despite his very bad choices in the new timeline there's no denying that Raiden was a very good mentor and friend to those who wish to protect Earthrealm. Now we haven't exactly seen Raiden show off lots of his power, but when he has displayed it, it's definitely a sight to see. A perfect example of this is in the Mortal Kombat X comic, where under the manipulation of Havoc, Raiden's able to electrocute and subdue many of the main characters within the franchise. And in Mortal Kombat 9, he fights multiple Revenant without any breaks in between, so it's very clear that he has a lot of resilience and can in fact hold his own. Now with the arrival of Dark Raiden, we'll see a much much more vicious and dangerous Raiden. This point is further solidified with the fact that Raiden was able to decapitate Shinnok, not killing the god, but rendering him to more or less a vegetable. Now the reason why Raiden isn't higher on this list is because we haven't really seen too much from him. Plus, the most notable feat he seems to have under him is beating Shao Kahn, but in saying that, it did require assistance from his fellow Elder Gods, which is why he's quite low in this list. Now at number 4 we have Shao Kahn, a man who certainly lived up to his reputation of being a conqueror of realms, having killed thousands if not millions of people out of either amusement or his desire to destroy. Shao Kahn always has and always will be a force to be reckoned with. Examples of realms he's conquered are the Tarkatans, Saurians and even vampires, driving them to pretty much extinction unless they work with him. Shao Kahn is deemed as the ultimate bad guy and to be honest it's very hard to argue against that statement. He's a very strong tactician and has shown on many occasions that he's able to make things go his way. However, it's going to show that this is also his weak point, as his overconfidence has on many occasions led to him losing a battle. And on many occasions, he's unwilling to accept this loss due to his ego. But of the power he possesses, it's very understandable to see why he has a bit of an ego. Having broken Kung Lao's neck for lols, and beaten gods around like a sack of potatoes, he has a massive chip on his shoulder and it's understandable why. And due to his sheer overwhelming power, Shao Kahn ranks at number 4 on this list. Now at number 3, we have Liu Kang. Now Liu Kang has always been one of the biggest names in Mortal Kombat, having won the tournaments for Mortal Kombat 1, 2 and 3. Having defeated monsters, sorcerers and conquerors, Liu Kang has most certainly earned his place on this list. For mere mortal, Liu Kang has definitely defied the odds, having defeated people like Shang Tsung, Shao Kahn and even the fallen elder god Shinnok. He is believed by many to be the strongest human to have ever lived, and is said by many fans to be the true champion of Mortal Kombat. And it's hard to argue against that claim, as anyone that's on equal footing with him seems to have a really hard time of defeating him, especially in his human form. And I understand if some people have a problem with this pick, as Raiden did defeat him in Mortal Kombat 9. However, in Mortal Kombat 9, Shao Kahn also battered Raiden to a pulp, and Liu Kang on multiple different occasions has been able to defeat Shao Kahn. So it's a very weird cycle between these three characters, but there's no doubt in my mind out of these three characters that Liu Kang is definitely the strongest. Now the one massive flaw with Liu Kang is the fact that he's still mortal. Despite his sheer power and ability to defeat anyone, death is still a possibility and he has died on two different occasions, so unfortunately his limitations of being human is what drags him down. But in saying that, I'm not taking anything away from this character, as he has defied gods and demons. 
Now at number 2 we have the Dragon King Onaga, the master of Shao Kahn and someone deemed by many to be the true ruler of Outworld. Onaga is extremely powerful and someone that could easily contend with some of the strongest gods in the Mortal Kombat universe. Although he hasn't appeared a lot within the series, when he has it's always a sight to be seen. An amazing display of his power was when he finally arrived in Outworld, when Shang Tsung and Quan Chi had formed the Solnado and they just defeated Raiden. Now due to the arrival of the Dragon King, the three were forced to battle him, combining their might and attempting to destroy him. However, this wasn't enough, and Raiden was forced to sacrifice his own life with the hopes of in fact destroying him, but this proved to be unsuccessful, as Onaga was easily able to shake off the blow. Now his amazing strength and resilience aren't the only things he has. Onaga was known for being extremely talented in necromancy, and he used this to his advantage in Deception, where he would revive all of Earthrealm's dead heroes, force them to side with him, showing that he wasn't only physically strong, but very powerful in terms of using the dark arts. It took the power of all of Earthrealm's heroes embedded into Shijenko in order to defeat him, just to give you a rough idea of how powerful this guy was. Now overall, Onaga as a character is extremely powerful, with the only flaw that I can find about him is his trust, as on both occasions when he's taken people under his wing, it's come back to bite him in the arse. The first being Shao Kahn poisoning him and killing him, and giving Shijenko the ability to absorb other fighters' powers. Now outside of that, Onaga himself doesn't seem to have any weaknesses which in turn doesn't only just make him a very formidable foe, but one of the strongest people in Mortal Kombat history. Now at number 1 we have the One Being, a powerful and ancient entity to the likes of something we haven't yet quite seen properly. Although we haven't seen this deity be personified, the mere mention of him is enough to make the Elder Gods quiver, just to give you a rough idea of how powerful he in fact is. It took the combined efforts of the Elder Gods in order to defeat him. The One Being's power is known to be limitless, and the Elder Gods Gods being aware of the threat that he presented, split his consciousness into six different Kami Dogu, scattering them across the realm in the hopes that no one would ever remember him or find the daggers. Now despite being split amongst many of the realms, the One Being has been able to influence many people in the Mortal Kombat timeline, and have them give in to the temptation of wanting to merge the realm, because by doing this he's in fact able to be reborn, and this in turn would lead to the destruction of all. And that's really it for this list guys, there are a lot of strong contenders for this, so it's very easy to in fact switch some people out. But like I said at the beginning, this is my own personal top 5s list, so please put down in the comments below your own personal list. And also in the comments below, please let me know what you'd like to see for the next top 5 list of Mortal Kombat. Now I also want to let you guys know that the charity stream is going to happen this month, to be precise on the 26th. It's going to be a 24 hour stream and it will feature myself, True Underdog Gaming, Dynasty and Miss Laura Croft. All the money we accumulate will be going to a lovely charity called Special Effects, a charity that supports children who are mentally or physically disabled. The charity itself allows young children to come together and play video games with each other, allowing them to develop social skills and become friends. Now if possible guys, please donate some money towards this, as it helps fund the charity and the equipment it can provide. I'll leave a link for it in the description below, so if possible guys, please donate towards this. Now as always guys, please comment, like, subscribe and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care and I will see you all next time.